Hey guys, in this one we are going to have an overview of a chat system project that we are going to create next week using Django and Socket IO library. So let's get started. Right guys, so the first thing is to ask why did I actually decide to create this project with the use of Django and Socket.io technology instead of doing this in a traditional way with the use of Django and Django channels. And the reason for this is actually quite simple. I wanted to do something different. So if you are looking for a Django and Django channels tutorial on a basic chat system, I highly recommend the one created by Justin Mitchell from Coding for Entrepreneurs. And the link to this video tutorial is of course in the description. However, if you would like to taste a little bit different approach, which isn't that popular as the combination of Django and Django channels. So here again, I'm emphasizing that we are going to use Django and the popular socket IO in order to create a pretty cool chat system that is going to be published absolutely for free here on the pipeline YouTube channel. So now without further ado, let's actually take a look at what we are going to build. So you probably noticed that I have four windows open and they are basically the same. So what I'm going to do is to log in as a test user and let's say that I would like to go to a room which I'm going to name test room. Okay, so I'm going to enter and right now I'm the only user over here. So test room has one user and it's test user. I can basically send a message over here, message and here is my message sent by the test user, okay? So let's go to another window and here I'm going to log in as test user two and I'm going to go to the room test, test room two or test room. Let's, let's just stay in the same room, okay? So I'm going to enter and now this test room has two users. So it's test user and test user two. Okay. So now I can write hello world and I can press send. Okay. And now if I go to the window for the test user, I also see hello world. And if I close this, we have a notification that a user, which was test user two has left the room. And if I, enter again so i'm going to write test user 2 and i'm going to place test room i'm going to enter if we skip very quickly we have a notification that test user 2 has joined this test room okay so this is working and as you can see right now we have a history so every time we log in we have the previous history. So here I'm going to put in minion and then I'm going to put in minion room. Okay, and I'm going to enter. And yeah, this is a new room, so we don't have any history. So let's write something down. Hello from minion room. Well, let's press send. Okay. And then I'm just going to add another window. And here I'm going to add a user minion two. And let's access this minion room. And here, as you can see, we have the history. And for a second here, we saw a notification. So if I refresh this page and jump very quickly, we have a user minion two has joined the chat room okay and i can write something down hi how are you and as you can see this is live we can uh, the, the user minion can can actually see those um messages uh live and he can he or she can respond hi there okay and there it is. All right, so yeah, 
And again, if I decide to leave the room, we have a notification. The Minion user has a notification that another user that was in that room has left it. Okay. And yeah, basically, this is it. This is what we are going to create. And this will be published next week, probably in five, six days, something like this. All right, guys. So I wish you all a great week and hopefully see you soon.